The following trailer is rated H for honest. In an era when the arcade racing classics of the past have fallen by the wayside, and every game about driving wants you to know what a carburetor is, discover a racing game that isn't afraid to give the people what they want. Uh, loot drops? The Crew. Travel across a gorgeous, super-deformed version of America, where all the famous stuff has been squashed together for your driving pleasure, and everything else is a weird auto-generated slurry that you'll drive around in aimlessly from landmark to landmark, desperately looking for a distraction from your loneliness. In the most depressing version of digital tourism since the Oregon Trail, experience the blessing and the curse that is the open world racing game as you trade off a giant map filled with plenty of variety and places to burn rubber with lots of driving to get to the driving. Races where you spend half of your time staring at the mini-map so you'll know where to turn and plenty of time in open road to contemplate the fact that no one else wants to play the crew with you. Get whiplash from the crew's incongruous storyline as you take the protagonist, John Q. White Guy, recruited by the FBI to be a racing cop, to infiltrate and expose an international car gang who killed your brother by beating them in races or something. In a plot that's way too intense to pay off in this game where all you do is drive cars, then discover the sequel's narrative where you do everything for followers on social media? Wow, I did not think they could make it darker. Level up with the crew's RPG-style loot system, complete with color-coded drops that trick your lizard brain into thinking fun is happening because the numbers keep going up, but have the downside in a racing game of making the cars feel like ass to drive until you've played 40 hours and picked up enough legendary spark plugs to have good handling and a tragic flaw that keeps the crew from really being that fun to play that they try to fix in the sequel by making it Diddy Kong Racing and giving you the same system with boats and planes, but somehow came out feeling even emptier than the first game anyway. Wait, is that a monster truck skate park? Or maybe I take that back. So strap in and slap on that epic crankshaft for an open world driving game that's perfect for a virtual road trip to a gorgeous, extremely European version of America. But maybe not the best game about actually driving cars. Oh well, there's always a sequel. I hear the third one's gonna have segways and pogo sticks. Starring Lightning McQueen, Doc Hudson, Sally Carrera, Toe Mater, Dane Cook, and a bunch of other cars. All right, I mean, come on, what do you want from me? Make a U turn back to the GameStop and return this bad boy. Pro tip for the crew, too turning into a car in the middle of the sky is easily the funnest thing to do in this game. Comment below on what you want me to read in my epic voice. Drink your Ovaltine. No running in the halls. 15 seconds detention for you. We don't make mistakes, we just have happy accidents. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife.